Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Ballina, the Richmond River. Now, over the past few months, we've been liaising with a couple of our viewers, Sean, Jay, and of course, Jack. These guys have said, Bertie, come on down when you get the opportunity. Love to show you our neck of the woods. So that we have done. We've crossed the border, brought down a rod, no tackle. The boys have it all here. And fingers crossed, we target one of the most elusive yet prolific fish at times, the Richmond River Jewfish. Let's have a crack. So Sean, we're here at the Richmond. What makes this area so prolific for Mulloway and just fish in varieties? Just the abundance of fish that are around the Richmond area. Um, like plague proportions of jewfish sometimes, especially in the uh, mullet runs. Right. Um, like right now at the moment, we're in the whiting sort of season. Yep. You follow the baits, what's coming in, what's spawning, you'll get it. So use that bait running that side. Exactly. Time. Because the, the jewfish are there feeding, that's for you guys at home. Great tip because if you're yeah. in Broome or Perth or Adelaide or the top end of the country or wherever you are and there's mulloway in your neck of the woods, uh, use that fish that's running at that time for bait because the big ones are going to hit it, aren't they? 100%. Straight away. Most and what definitely. about local reefs? Because reefs close to a bar entrance, obviously, and surf breaks, etc., bring the fish into the systems. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, you'll get a lot of uh, jewfish from the oceans, say even a close reef to us is Reardon's. Uh, jewfish would come from Reardon's into the river here. Could be ranging from anywhere to seven to 30 kilos, like. Yeah, it's pretty intense <laughs> it's, stuff. It's and they're amazing. quite silver as well, being a, That's exactly a reef right. fish. Mm. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference between a river jewfish and a reef, uh, ocean jewfish. Uh, they'll be silver in appearance, the ocean ones, and um, the ones in the river will have a browny, cool. bronzy tinge. Well, mate, the lines are out, fingers crossed. Thanks for the tips. No worries. I'll go far with you guys back at home as well. I love fishing with locals, getting their ideas. It's what it's all about. Mate, that's not going to catch a fish, buddy, sitting oh, out here. Oh, I better get it in the water then. Yeah, I think so too. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> so, Jay, I've got to ask you the question, mate. The key to success when you are working these areas is having the right bait. Yeah, yep. Pretty much. And you're using a bait that's locally found throughout these waters here, and they are? Live yellowtail. Yeah. But the yakas are a really fantastic bait, quite a hardy fish as well. Yeah. How yep. do you hook him up, mate? So I will do... I use two hooks. Yes. I'll do the top hook through the mouth, yep. the top of the mouth. Sort of like uh, out between his nose or something, I'd imagine. Yeah, yep, it's like that. Okay, so like a little pin ring. Yep. And then I'll grab the back of him. Yep. Through the back of the t tail there with the bottom hook. Yep, beauty. Good so job, he mate. swims like a normal bait fish. And you don't want to have that line there tight between that because it'll, no. cur it'll curl yeah, over. Yeah, it'll curl up, yep. Cool. So we're going to have a throw into here. Yep. Um, the, the gear you're using, mate, you've, you've got yourself a, it's a dial reel um, or a Shimano? Fluger reel. Fluger reel, you've got yep. a, a Saltus rod. So you've yep. done some, you've got a bit of guts behind that. Yeah, yeah, about, I think it's 15 to 25 kilo. Okay, yep. all right. Just in case the big jewies come. Yeah, that's it. Now, Joe was telling me earlier that the back banks here, there's a, some areas there where there's a lot of bait hangs around, so you get a bit of a bycatch here as well. Yeah, yeah. What would the bycatch be, Joe? Big flathead. Taylor. Anything that's in that main channel. Yeah. Lights attract bait. Yep. Speaking of bait, let's get it in the water. Yep. Fingers crossed. Now, how you going, mate? Good, good. Look at the size of that thing. That is a big lizard, mate. All right, buddy. Have a crack at this, huh? Yep. So I think she's sort of, she hooked in the mouth on the back. Look at that for a croc. Dude, <laughs> hey, well, congratulations, no mate. No worries, buddy. What an absolute monster. Now, the Ballina region, particularly the Richmond, is, is home to the biggest flooded I've yes, seen in the country. Yep. There's a few big girls around here. And, uh, you know, the iconic one metre is one that a lot of people strive to, Get, to target. Yeah, yep. What are you going to give her? Because she's pretty bloody big. She'd be in the 90s, I'd imagine, wouldn't she? 85. 85? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's taking a deduction. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, champ. All right, I'm going to let you do the honours. Yep. Thanks, mate. Release this beautiful big girl. 
What a magnificent fish, buddy. Hey, look at that. Look at all the bait hanging around her too, huh? Beautiful. She's got her own ecosystem. There she goes, straight down. Turn around. And she'll do a flip and off she goes. Good job, mate. Well done, Beautiful. buddy. All right, <laughs> two fish time now, yeah. huh? So guys, I've got myself my live yakka. Now the boys have been running a couple of two hook rigs I hear around here, but I'm gonna go the single hook just under the jaw and out through his nose. So I think that'll be enough to do that. I've got about a four foot leader, 60 pound leader, and uh, just going up to a size seven ball sinker. So I'll just get that casted out here, just on the edge of where the light meets the dark. And I believe that's where you obviously a lot of fish just sort of patrol that area. That'll do. Let it down, it's about seven or eight meters of water. Let it get down. There we go, it's on the, on the deck. Wind up, take up the slack. Now we just sit back and fingers crossed we come up trumps with the fish. Hey Tommy, you wanna wind in your line? Jay, what are you doing, mate? I mean, <laughs> clearly you're winding a fish in, but son, I mean, is it, he's taken the run. Yeah. Traditionally with a dewy, what did you do? Did you have to give him the bait? Yeah, I let with him it? run with it and then I just strike. Yeah, okay. So you knew when, when you felt the weight, yeah. it was the time to sink the hook. Yeah. Unreal. Tell me about the retrieve here, Jay. You're um, keeping pressure on all the time? Yeah, yeah, as soon as you let that pressure go, you have a chance of losing the hook. Righto. Have you ever been shark pulling uh, the jewies in? No. Not nah, yet? Not yet. So I won't say a word about that. <laughs> <laughs> and your drag? Just enough for it to run. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, you don't want it too tight or you snap it. There's those tips, guys. Local boys fishing in their own backyard late at night hooking up to some solid fish. Okay, we've got a bit of colour down there, champ. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, that's a nice dewy. It is. We came, we saw, and we absolutely kicked its butt because this is what we're here to target, mate. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> well done, champ. You're stoked. Look at him. Hey. Hey, Sean, come, yeah. come on in here, mate, because like, th this is it. This is, this is Sean, everyone. He invited us down here to do this, and, mate, you've got to be so, so I'm you guys... so happy you guys came down oh, and you man. can see these fish. Wow, and this is what you guys are catching all the time, mate. All the time. <laughs> Does it matter any time of the year, pal, or is it just, no, you know... No, we're, right now we're getting into the warmer months. Most people think that jewfish are just a winter fish. But honestly, you can catch them all year, and the proof yeah. is right here. And I guess when, when you've got your mullet hanging around, they're going to be on the surface. Exactly. And when they're, you know, there's no mullet or food on the surface, they go down to the bottom. Yeah, that's 100% correct. And that's it. And for the whiting or running, try and use something similar to a whiting if yep. you can't get a whiting. Hence the reason for a yakka. Yeah. And with a mullet running, use a mullet. Exactly oh, right. Man, that is stoked. What are you going to do with him, Jay? That's a big fish, buddy. I'll probably keep this one, yeah. Yeah, keep yeah, him? Yeah, take yeah. him home? Yeah, yeah take him home. Solid as. Feed the family. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, mate, absolutely. All right, you're not going to have much after you give us half of it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I've got to say, boys, it's been a fantastic night. We've come down here and, you know, produce the goods, and I guess that's what it's all about. So, hey, thanks for the invite down. No worries, no worries. buddy. And, uh, you know, there's still a few more baits in the bucket, so I'm gonna have another crack and that's it. leave you guys alone. <laughs> all right, well done. Now, here's some tips to catching Mulloway. You'll need a six to 10 kilo spin or overhead combo. You'll have some fun. 60 pound leader and a sinker to suit the current. You might have to change it a few times. A two hook 5.0 and a 6.0 rig for the live bait. Fish the channels and holes where the bait is found. When you get that bite, let the fish run before striking. Good luck. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this.
and cooking recipes.